Hey everybody, Jeffrey Powers here with another Wirecast tutorial. I'm here in my studio, or am I? Yes, we're talking about chroma key and green screening on this Wirecast tutorial. Hey everybody, Jeffrey Powers here from Geekazine, Think Magazine, Put It In The Geek, and you've got me, and you've got this green screen. And as you can see, we've got a nice little green screen here because of Wirecast, and we're using this um, to uh, show a point. And as you can see, um, it's just basic green screen, it, uh, what's called chroma key green. And as you can also see, it's not also perfectly set up. But the cool thing about Wirecast is it can handle it. So if you're on the go and you need to do a chroma key, it, it, it can handle that and go from there. So I got my background from my second monitor. Let's bring it in just like that. And as you can see, there I am. My monitor's right there. And here I am. And <clears throat> here's a nice picture of the Grand Canyon background, one of my Windows desktops. And so I can actually do this. I could bring up, you know, I could bring up a web page or something like that. Let's uh, let's go over here. Uh, we've got uh, Wirecast. Uh, that was the last thing I looked at. Um, we can go to my YouTube page and uh, kind of go from there. But anyway, the whole point is that uh, we've got all this these cool things that we can do with Wirecast, whether it be the pro version, whether it be the regular ver version, and you can do a lot of stuff. You might even see in some of these videos out there, people are playing games and the game's going on in the background and in the foreground. They're sitting there talking, you know, going, okay, this is this, this is this, la, 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 and, uh, and this is how it's done. Now, let, you know, I'm just kind of babbling here. Let's show you how it's done and go from there. There's two different ways you can do it. The first way you can do it, let's uh, pull up, there we go, we've got the Wirecast pulled up. The first way you can do is you can create a full set of layers. So if I go here and I go edit the shot, unfortunately it bounces back. That's a small little uh, glitch in Wirecast. But anyway, I'll bring this up. And as you can see, I've created two different layers. The first one being my local desktop, the second layer being my video camera. Now, just so you know, the better the video camera you have, the better the green screen you can do. If you've got, if you're, if you're running a camera that can do 1080p, you can and, and capture a lot of color. It can handle this. But if you've got, you know, like. Uh, uh, an older camera or maybe you know, sometimes even the iPhone cameras and stuff like that, they do okay, but they're not, they don't have that many pixels as opposed to a higher end camera. Um, this actually camera that is the uh, Sony uh, PJ series and it is a couple years old. So, but it does have a good sensor in it, and it records 24 megabits per second. It, it, has, it, co it captures as much color as possible. DSLRs, perfect types of cameras for this. Um, the, these uh, prosumer cameras, perfect. Um, even a GoPro will handle it. So if you've got something like that, it's okay, and you should be able to go from here. So this is one way to do it, is to create the sources and go from there. The second way to do it is just to create the layers. Uh, so I have a layer right here I can bring myself in. Here I am right here, I haven't really messed with this, so I'm gonna edit this shot a little bit and I'll bring this down so you can kind of see it as we go. So first of all, I need to adjust my where I am. So let's just bring the top down just, well, we don't need to bring the top down. We do, we do need to bring the bottom, there we go. So I have a little bit more room and I'll just pull myself up here. And now we'll go over to the chroma key part and we'll say use chroma key. Now I have most of my settings already set. So as you can see, it's, it's pretty instantaneous on that. Uh, I wish there was a way to, there we go. We'll blow this up here like this. So now I'm, I'm in the corner and of course my main shot over here. And of course I can uh, change this. So I, you know, if I, you see my left shoulder right here is pretty much cut off. So now I can take that and go like that, and maybe it's the right side, I'm sorry. It's gotta think in reverse when I do this. So now, here I am down in the bottom corner, there's nothing behind me, except you know, maybe my chair, and then the green screen, a little bit of green screen, you might see that, and uh, let's just uh, close this up. 
So now if I do this, boom, here I am down in the corner and you can see more of the screen behind me because I'm using this chroma key. Let's talk a little bit more about chroma key, but first of all, I want to let you know, go over to uh, uh, get yourself Wirecast, jmp, j.mp forward slash Wirecast 6. That's my affiliate code. Uh, if you're getting Wirecast, that helps me keep these uh, videos running. So thank you very much. And I know some of you have been watching them because I've been getting some great feedback. And you can always uh, contact me over at geekazine at gmail.com. Now, so you got two different ways to do it. You can create one one scene all together, or you can create layers. So one layer being like, for instance, the uh, right down here. Now, here I am, double. How you doing? I'm doing fine. Thank you. So you've got... Uh, You've got more functionality here. So now I can flip this over and show off my, uh, my, my web page and talk about uh, going into YouTube and using YouTube or, or something like that, or going to geekazine.com and checking out Geekazine. Let's, let's check that out really quick. Um, and here I am. I'm you know, just working along here. So babbling a little bit. Apologize for that. But the whole point is that it's actually very straightforward to do. And let me show you the screen again, because look at this screen. <laughs> I'll get rid of this one. Look at this screen. As you can see, there is absolutely no conformity to it. I put this up willy nilly. I put up a couple nails and then I put up the green screen. This actually was sitting in my basement from when I did my iPad 365 show. And I haven't done green screen since because it always became problematic. But now with the right lighting and the right software, you can do that. Now, I say right lighting because I do have a lot of lights on. I told you about the camera. Um, the next thing you want to do is you want to have a light system. And it doesn't have to be anything expensive by any means. I have, uh, and I did a video on this, uh, on how to put together LED lights uh, from Amazon.com with a uh, with uh, the stand and the lights and everything. And it's under $100. And you can set, you can get two or three of them. Um, you can also get these uh, can these work light cans. They're the ones that clip on uh, clip onto walls and and tables and stuff like that. You get a, a simple simple light bulb in there that does about a hundred watts. I have these uh, the the uh, ice cream cone shaped ones. Uh, they're not incandescents, but they're uh, they're fluorescents. That's what I'm thinking of. Fluorescent lights. Um, that can do, they're, they're rated at about 100 watts, although they only put out uh, something like uh, 30 watts of energy or something like that. But at, at any rate, I've got two lights in front of me. I've got my, I got a light over here that, that brings uh, shadow. As you can see, there's the shadow right here. And then I've put a fourth light down here to tr try and capture underneath a little bit. Now, as you can see, there's a shadow right here um, from this light. And if I get closer to the screen, you'll see a more uh, a prominent shadow there. So the farther away you are from the screen, the better, because it does one two things happens. First of all, it doesn't have to worry about is this the right green anymore. And then secondly, um, when you when you bounce the light off the green screen, it actually bounces back on your skin. And especially with my bald head, you'll see, you might actually see a green halo around in some cases. If you don't have a light pointing this way from behind, you can actually have that green halo. It looks really weird or it, it, it's kind of like yeah, the lines are kind of really weird, as you can see. Um, when I do this, there's just a little bit of green. And if I do a little bit more lighting... If I do a little bit more adjustments uh, through the editing, I'll show you that again. We'll do the edit shot. And then uh, let me bring that over here. There we go. So I do the edit. No, that's not helping. <laughs> Let's do it this way. Um, I'll do the edit shot. Uh, right screen. There we go. I'll do the edit shot. And then I'll bring this back over here. So if I go over to the uh, chroma key, as you can see, I can not only... Pick the color, so if you don't have the right color green, you can use different ones. And, of course, you can do uh, the, the primary colors. You have green, you have blue, and you have red. Red is the hardest of the three to do because a lot of natural skin tone has red in it. So it's tougher to do. It's very possible, but tougher to do. Uh, if you're wearing green, uh, like, for instance, let me show you here. I take this. This is, a, this is something green, as you can see. It's passing through me and showing it is almost invisible. So if you've got anything green on, 
um, you'll want to have a blue background. If you have anything blue on, you'll want to have a green background. Simple as that. So when you do choose this, you'll just have to basically go through the key threshold, the black clip and the white clip. Now we'll just move the white clip a little bit here. As you can see, once we, once we start moving it, oh, there is the green screen a little bit. So we want to move it to a place where we don't see green screen and don't see shadow. And if I come back here, it's actually pretty good. You don't really see the shadow, but you're seeing more green, more uh, uh, weird blur around my hand. And if I move my hand a lot, you'll really start to see the green as right there. So, uh, and of course, that can be adjusted. The black clip uh, actually brings, as you can see, the monitor, my, my computer monitor has this little green flutter to it. So if I move this closer... It makes it a little bit more solid, but if I go back here, you're going to start seeing more of the green because I've got the shadows. And then, of course, the key threshold. If I bring that all the way, there we've got it closed. And as you can see, it looks a different shade of green. So it's still working, but not as much. And as I go from here, it kind of lightens things up. So if I had this back sheet perfect, I could have this set pretty low and the lights all set up right. I could have this set pretty low so it doesn't have to really work at getting a green screen. So I'm going to set that like that and we're just going to close that. We're going to come back here. So now I've taken my green screen uh, or my chroma key and I've set it up uh, so I can uh, do something such as a background or even, you know, there's my studio look again. But, you know, the reality is you know, my studio is not back there. It's, it's just a green sheet. And if I really want to get fancy, I can blur it up. So, you know, it looks like I'm doing some really fancy stuff. And I, and I can also zoom in. Let me let me do this. I'll zoom in myself a little bit. Um, and I'll do that really quick without doing the... Uh, without doing anything. So I'll zoom in like this and I'll go down, uh, do that. And now if I do this, boom, there I am really close. And it's like, whoa, hey, you're too close. You better back up a little bit. And of course I can use the camera to back up as well, as you can see. And, and they used to do this in one, whenever I watched TV in the 80s and 90s and they had, because they had chroma key back then and people would do this. It's like, whoa, that's some spacey looking thing here. So let's get it back up here. To about the right size because there's other things that you can do with wirecast and the chroma key like for instance this right here welcome to the new studio at geekazine jeffrey powers here and we're gonna have we're gonna talk some really cool stuff and do some really cool stuff as you can see i have my logo zip it on in the background and i have a desk in front of me i have some really cool fixtures I zoom this in a little bit so you can see me, and then of course I could be talking behind tables, so I could I could report the news to you and anything like that. So now part of this is a pro feature, so uh, if you have the regular feature, you, uh, you won't be able to do this too much. But I'll show you how it's done. So basically, all you have to do is go and edit your shot, and I think that'll flip back. Yeah, flip back. So let's do this. Let's edit. The, go back here. There we go. And now we're on this shot. So on this shot, and we'll zoom it in like that, you have this little box right here. Um, and it basically configures templates. So when you press it, you've got all your templates here. If you want to do your A, B, and stuff like that. You also have this thing called virtual sets. This is the pro feature. The virtual set, they give you, uh, it looks like nine different virtual sets uh, uh, straight from the pro feature. You can buy more. You can create your own. I've done that a few times. And basically what this is, and I'm using the Moonlight set uh, with the uh, with an image, the image uh, Moonlight set front, which has the uh, which has the logo behind me. So uh, basically what this sets is a, a decor, a foreground, uh, my video, the background, and then, of course, a logo uh, like this was a big TV back here. So I can I can basically get rid of any of it. We'll just uh, take this one and we'll. Uh, We'll make it opaque. As you can see, it disappears, comes right back. It's just basically a layer off of this whole thing. And so what I can do is I'm going to close that out, and it creates the virtual set in which I can then talk about things and, and go back, back and forth from there. Virtual sets also can be set up as one scene or as a layered scene. And that really depends on how you play with virtual sets, especially if you're using multiple cameras. You want to make sure that you're looking right because you don't want to have one scene where 
I'm this far back and then the next scene where I'm like zoomed in or or, or something like that and just kind of looks off. So you want to have this set pretty good. So so that's basically it. If you got the pro feature, you can use the virtual sets. If you don't have the pro feature, that is perfectly fine because you can still do green screen and you can set up a cruddy green screen like this. And I even got one other tip for you. It's actually one of my podcast tips to a lot of people that do podcast green screening. Go down to the craft store, get yourself a canvas because you're usually like $20, $25 for a big canvas. I mean, we're not talking like a little one. We're talking uh, one that could actually hit a landscape of you. And then all you have to do is go down to the store, um, and uh, Lowe's and Home Depot have it. Uh, you just get one. It, they don't have chroma key paint, but they have something really close to it. Um, and I'm trying to remember the, the paint color, but you can just go there. Um, you can also search online, best chroma key paint, uh, and then you'll find the numbers that you can use. Take that canvas, paint it up in that color, put it right behind you. You can put it on an easel. You can put it on the wall. You can make a stand for it. And it, you can actually uh, take that canvas and put it down, take it down, put another picture up, uh, flip it around and have another picture on the other side. So if, if you have it in your living room, then it, when you need the chroma key, you just flip it around. You can do your stuff, flip it back and go from there. So it's pretty cool. Or you could do a sheet. And I know uh, people, uh, uh, my friend Ben Heckendorn, I don't know if he still does this, but in the early days, he used to have the sheet rolled up on the top and he'd just unsnap a couple snaps and then bring down the sheet and there it was. So basically that is how the chroma key works is it removes the color from the scene. So you can do things like take a look at geekazine.com or bring my background back in. Um, if I'm not at home or even blur it out so it looks, you know, a little bit fancier or even put together a full set so it looks like you're doing the news from some newsroom and uh, and have some fun with it. So that is how that's how the chroma key works. Experiment with it. Try it with the free trial and stuff like that. When you're ready to buy, go over to j.mp forward slash wirecast six j.mp forward slash wirecast six that's a bitly link by the way so it's a uh, you know uh, if i've used i use bitly links all the time it's gr they're great um but the j.mp well that's my initials so anyway get wirecast that way and i appreciate it much and uh i thank you so basically this has been the wirecast tutorial on how to green screen my name is jeffrey powers thanks a lot for watching you guys geek geek out and take care